For my behavior observation video, my subject was the burrowing owls and the behavior was the alarm calls they emit when predators are around. As you can see here in this video, one of the burrowing owls is emitting a one note rasp that is trying to warn one of the other owls which is not near them that there's a predator around which is me. So um, for the four Tinbergen questions that he asked, the first one I'm going to talk about is the proximate causation or control. Hearing or sensing a potential predator will generate alarm calls from the burrowing owl adults or offspring, and this is exactly what you heard here. The other owl was trying to let this owl know that there was a predator in its way and it should get away. So according to Dennis Martin, the adult burrowing owl has approximately 13 different calls, and eight of those are distinct. And I was able to capture three of those calls within the video. One of them is a RAS, which is done by the adult female when distressed, and the other one is a combined chatter, which is both the male or the female call, and it's supposed to sound like a rattlesnake rasp. For the evolutionary phylogeny question, my hypothesis was burrowing owls developed different alarm calls using the Batesian mimicry. Donald H. Owings' study used two different hypotheses to determine where these defensive sounds um, came from. And since Lecture 18 Animal Defenses did talk about the Batesian mimicry in a different sense, I thought I would talk about it here. And how he used it in a study was he tried to show that mimicking the sounds of rattlesnakes would have a greater effect on those predators who were trying to come after the burrowing owls because so many of them were also afraid of rattlesnakes that they would rather run for their lives than get eaten by what they thought was a rattlesnake. The development or ontology question, my hypothesis was eavesdropping by burrowing owls on animals such as prairie dogs and rattlesnakes have developed similar calls to help with survival tactics. Rebecca Bryan and Michael Wonder stated that when burrowing owls mimic the prairie dog alarm call or the, or the rattlesnake, it helps with their survival and, its su and successful nesting while using the prairie dog burrow. And through this, the owls were able to pass this on to future generations for the burrowing owl so they could continue to try to evade predators themselves. For the function question, my hypothesis was the alarm calls generated by the burrowing owl along with the bowing provided an early warning for the owls to run into the burrow for safety. Martin described this behavior in one of his other articles, but I did not experience the burrow running in for safety. Instead, what I did experience was what Martin described as a chuck and chatter call along with the bowing. And right here, you're going to see me dive bombed by an owl, which was also described in Martin's article. And this was another way for the owl to try to get his predator to go away. So lastly, as I mentioned, Lecture 18 Animal Defenses um, pretty much summarized what my video is all about. The alarm calls by the parent influence what the offsprings um, would either run into their burrow, fly to higher perch, um, the auditory mechanisms that were used. And unfortunately, the chromatic defense is one that I wish I would have known about earlier because a lot of the times I did have a hard time finding the owls in the video because they did blend in with their environment well. So thank you very much for this experience. I had a wonderful time observing my burrowing owls and um, I really enjoyed the class. I hope you enjoy my video. Thank you.